here with Stephen Edwards, trainer for Julian Williams. Uh, sir, first of all, thank you for taking the time out with us. Um, I want to educate fans a little bit. We're, we're under 24 hours away from the weigh-in. What, what's the boxer-trainer relationship? Uh, what goes on? What do you tell? Is it this? Well, right now, it's, it's usually not too good because they're cutting a little bit of weight and you get a little bit irritable when you do it. But right now, you're just pretty much just checking the skills and doing your last little mini shakeout just to, break, just to touch the weight. And then after the weigh-in, the final 24 hours before the fight, is it, do you go with the fighter, do you have dinner, do you um, just leave him alone and let him be to himself? How does it, what, what do you do? I know different trainers do things differently. Uh, well, uh, somebody has to be responsible for the rehydration. So you gotta make sure that they rehydrate properly and eat the right things. And that's a process, the same way taking off the weed is a process, putting the weed back on is a process. Okay. So it's really not over, because rehydration is actually more important than the weight. Okay. Um, now, for the, once the fight goes, let me ask you, let, let me ask you a question. Are, are you a little tired of people judging Julian based on not only just one fight, which was a loss, but just one punch, it seems? I mean, is it, does it bother you at all that people aren't looking at the picture holistically in his career? It can be a little uh, irritating, you know, but it's boxing. In this era, these guys don't fight as much as they did before. So, you know, you got less information and data to judge a guy on. So, um, no matter how good you were doing in the fight, you still going to get judged on the outcome of it. But um, Saturday night, we get to change all that. Okay. Uh, we, we have media here that a lot of times seems to be more fans in media and don't know how to differentiate. Uh, what I saw now, when when when, uh, when he lost, there was an uppercut that was thrown that people talk about. What I saw when he fought Nate Gallimore was there were at least 20 uppercuts that he blocked or slipped in that fight, which to me shows improvement. Most people aren't talking about that. Let's see Saturday night. Nah, Saturday. Okay. One, one last thing, speaking of rehydration, I, I know boxing is about skill, but will Julian be in the ring with a light heavyweight on Saturday night? You know what? You can't control that. You know, the guy got to make the weight, and, um, you know, if, 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 because if we win the fight, I want to hear weight as an excuse because they, he uses weight as an advantage. If he makes the weight, he makes the weight. You know, so we can't get him. Julian's not small either. Do you recall anything in the contract about the size of the ring? Fight me. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time, sir. Best wishes to you. That's Stephen. They call him the bread man. Stephen Edwards, Julian Williams trainer, fightjournal.com. We're ready to go, baby.